Welcome to episode four of our Snap series, where we will be learning about custom blocks and how you can create them yourself. In the last video, I briefly described custom blocks using the examples provided here, such as who, does what, and gossip. Uh, but now we're going to make a custom block called gossip response. So right now in the program we worked on last time, every time this second sprite gives a response to the first sprite, it begins its sentence with oh but. Now in real life, you won't begin every sentence with oh but, so let's make it slightly more realistic by giving the sprite a set of options to choose from for its response. A simple way you could do this is through custom blocks. First, we will have to know how to start creating one. You can do this by either clicking on make a block down here in the bottom left corner, or you can right click on anywhere in the scripts area and click make a block here. Now when you do this, this menu should pop up. So the first thing you will have to do is choose the color of the block. Now this won't really affect the function, but it will affect which of these tabs the block will be available under, so you don't get confused on its general function. The custom block we'll be making today makes use of a list, so let's put it under lists. Now the next thing you have to do is name the custom block. As I said earlier, we're going to call it gossip response. And now the last thing you're going to have to do is to choose the type of block it is. So because this block will be reporting a value, aka the response of the sprite, we are going to make it a reporter. Uh, after that, you click OK and the block editor will open. Here is where you will combine different blocks to create a function for this one custom block. Now because we select a reporter, this block will come with and must include a report function in it. Uh, to make this work, we can follow the model of other custom blocks that we've been provided with. For reference, let's right click and edit this who block so we can use it as reference. As you can see here, this block chooses a random item of a given list in order to work. So we could do the same thing with our gossip response block. By taking a list, we can fill it with the options we want. So let's stay with O oh but. Uh, let's also add with these black arrows well and but did you know that I wrote what next we want the gossip response block to report a random one of these strings so let's use this item one of block here and set one to random and put this list inside this box and now we just have to put this in the report block and hit OK. Lastly, we need to make sure that the responses we put in the gossip response block are actually called on by the second sprite. To this, we need we need to insert it into the gossip2 block. Simply open the block in the second sprite script and take the gossip response block that we made under the variables, since variables and lists are combined under one tab. So take it and replace it with O but. And so that completes our very basic overview of custom blocks. Don't worry, we will be going over the different types of custom blocks as we go down the different tutorials. But uh, stay tuned for the next episode when we will look at having the program learn from very specific inputs. But wait, we need to make sure that this actually works the way we want it to. So let's run the program by clicking on the algorithm under Sprite 1 scripts, which I will make easier by just adding this when flags clicked. Aha, see, we have a problem. That's why you need to debug your code. The response that we give in the gossip response block is not adding a space between it and the who to block. So there are many ways you could fix this, but the way that I'm gonna choose to do it is by going back to edit the block. And at the end of each of these responses, I'm going to add a space. Make sure to hit okay. And now if we run it again, see that it's now spaced and it works the way we want it to.